Question number four is to determine the pH of a weak base. So again, let's try to do by the uh, ice table method, and then eventually we want to switch over to the formula method because the ice table for a weak base, which is a mono basic, again very standard. KB values uh, will always look the same. The approximation is always the same. Then therefore the conclusion is always the same. You always end up with the same thing. So let us just do this a few times. Then when when we realize that hey, very repetitive, huh? we're getting sick of it. And then naturally we will be able to switch over, no problem. So the dissociation for my ammonia over here, all right, shouldn't be a problem. Original concentration is 0.5. Again, water, we are not so bothered about it because it is a constant term. A lot of water, it also doesn't appear in the K expression, so we can ignore that, no problem. So NH4 plus and OH minus. Original 0, 0. Change will be minus X plus X plus X, same thing. Equilibrium 0.5 minus X, X, X. Again, it is the same thing. You can do the approximation here, 0.5 minus x is roughly equals to 0.5. If you don't want to do the approximation here, we can always wait until we encounter quadratic equation, then it becomes a trigger. Okay, time for me to do approximation. We can do that as well, no problem. So Kb is same thing, concentration of the product divided by the reactant, which is x squared divided by 0 0.5 minus x. You notice k is known, or we can determine k, no problem. And this is a quadratic equation. Therefore, this will be a trigger. Okay, time for me to do approximation because in syllabus, I don't need to solve quadratic equation. I have to do approximation. So the approximation is the same thing. Huh? 0.5 minus x is just roughly equals to 0.5 because this is a weak base, k is small, degree of dissociation is small, so therefore x is small. Big number minus this tiny number will just be roughly equals to that big number. So this is approximately equals to 0 0.5. And therefore, when we do the rearrangement, my OH minus concentration is just the square root of KB times the base concentration. So it turns out, again, to be exactly the same as this. What we just want to appreciate again uh, is the formula method, it is not a separate method. It is still ice table with approximation. It is like the conclusion. Uh, that means we skip the first few steps. This is the outcome that we will have because for any monoprotic base dissociation, the approximation and the ice table will always turn out to be the same. So therefore, the conclusion that we will have will also turn out to be the same. OH minus concentration is the square root of KB times weak base concentration. Very, very simple uh, if we are comfortable with the uh, approximation. So again, uh, usually my KB will be sufficiently small. So therefore, we can use the approximation and we can use the formula. Quite safely, we can do that. Again, even if you are given a big KB, there's no other way, we will still have to do this approximation, we will have to take the bigger error because uh, otherwise I will be dealing with a quadratic equation which I'm not required to solve for that. So that's the catch that uh, we have. If it is quadratic, we always try to do approximation regardless of whether the error is big or small, we just have to take the error. Okay? So uh, eventually we will switch to the formula method. We want to determine KB but KB is not given. Uh, if I look at the information in the question, but no problem, I know that I can always get this from the Ka of the partner. Remember this formula involving Ka times Kb equals to Kw only applies to conjugate acid base pair. Now this idea, maybe we don't really appreciate it or we don't really see the significance of this when we deal with monoprotic acid or base systems because if let's say, if you're not, not given the Kb for NH3, and they want to give you the Ka of the partner, then there's only one Ka value that they will give, which is the Ka for NH4+. So uh, instinctively, we will just use any Ka value that is given in the question. So the significance of it maybe is not really there, but just keep this in mind. When we deal with diaprotic species, we will be able to appreciate uh, why there's an emphasis that Ka times Kb equals to Kw only applies to conjugate acid base pair. Because for normal questions, this uh, even if you don't remember, this is for conjugate acid base pair, it doesn't really give us that much of a problem. But again, the concept needs to be very clear. Then later, when we try to apply this to uh, diprotic species, uh, you know exactly which Ka value to use. You just keep this in mind. No problem for us to find Kb from the Ka of NH4+. Again, we don't really need to write this down explicitly. Uh, I just bring this out as a concept. When we do the calculation, OH- minus is the square root of Kb times 0 0.5. Then we look at the search for KB in the question. We know that it is not there. Then automatically we will be able to switch to, okay, KB is just KW divided by KA. Then we have this here. Then we will just continue from here, right? 
I will just sub in kW is 10 to the power of minus 14. Ka is this given value. And then the concentration for ammonia is given. Then I can just press calculator one time. I can find my OH minus concentration, 3 times 10 to the power of minus 3. I can find my POH. And then I can find my pH. Very, very simple. Huh? If you do by the formula method, it's actually fairly simple. If you don't give me the KB for this guy, then you're obliged. The question is obliged to give me the KA of the partner. I just do a, just one more step. Use KW divided by KA to find my KB. I still can do the calculation uh, largely in one, uh, one, one shot. I can find OH minus. Then typically, how do I find the pH is I find POH minus log OH minus concentration. Then after that, I find pH, which is 14 minus POH.